<laughs> Take a moment to just stop, turn around, breathe, feel the air, feel the crisp fall weather that just happens to be raining today. Look around you. I was struck by Allie's warm, caring personality, her great sense of humor. You are smart, hilarious, goofy, creative, hardworking, patient, loving, and overall a spectacular human being. I, I saw that Allie also had a very uh, quiet strength that Ryan really benefited from and, and grew in. Ryan, where do I even begin? <laughs> I never told you this, um, but the moment that I knew it was you, <laughs> I was talking to Grandma Sandy and I, my face hurt from laughing and smiling so much. And that's when I knew. <laughs> You've always been and always will be my person. The person who I can be silliest with the person who can always make me laugh. The person who comforts me best when things aren't going my way. And the person to celebrate the highs and support during the lows. And today, I promise you, I will always be that person for you too. Tap, tap. I'm here. <laughs> You look so nice. <laughs> Love you. What do you think? <laughs> you look amazing. Right. You look incredible. Look at me, baby. I know. I promise to love you each and every day. I promise to always make you laugh when you need it. And especially when you don't. <laughs> I promise to take care of you. <laughs> because you take care of me. I promise to only be a little annoyed when you say we should go for a walk. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of a traditional unity candle lighting, Allie and Ryan have decided to celebrate the joining of their lives with the unity s'more. It's really special to find someone you can be goofy with, and I'm really glad that Allie has someone who's going to be there to goof around with her. Ryan, do you take Allie as your lawfully wedded wife to make her s'more when she's had a bad day? <laughs> I do. Allie, do you take Ryan as your lawfully wedded husband to cheer him up when the Vikings eventually let everyone down? I do. <laughs> And now, by the power vested in me, by the Universal Life Church, and by the state of Minnesota, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Allie, Ryan, you may now, in their own words, smooch one another. <laughs> <laughs> smooch you. For the first time as a married couple, Allie and Ryan. We were <laughs> we were wild, we were free And I don't want to leave your arms tonight I'm falling, still falling for you I just want to stay
stay here by your side I'm falling, still falling for you Something it's, I really admire about Ryan is that he has such a deep concern and care for everyone that he comes in contact with. The other thing about Ryan's personality that's very notable is that he's always been a romantic. So I was very curious to see who the person he would fall for would be. And I remember one fateful night, uh, I had heard he was going on a date, and I got a call from him afterwards, and I could tell instantly from the tone of his voice that he was ex excited about how it went. Um, but as we were talking, I distinctly remember him saying, this is the person I'm gonna marry. To me, being a bit more of a skeptic, I thought, that's crazy, I'm glad that the first date went well. <laughs> but let's take it one date at a time, right? Um, but it wasn't until I got to know Allie and see Ryan and Allie together that I understood why he was so confident. They're truly a great partnership and feed off each other perfectly. I'm really happy that you guys found your perfect mix and I wish you both the best in this new season of your lives together. To you, I'll always be your person until we're old and creaky sitting on our porch swing. I promise we'll get that porch swing. Uh, but really, Brian, I don't know how I got so lucky to find somebody like you. I love you so much, pal. I love you too, Pat.